A clinical research facility gives the opportunity for local people to be involved in that early testing of ideas that then benefits the local people as those ideas are generated and developed into full research protocols and into treatments for the future. It's about us taking the research to where it needs to be delivered. So it's not having an isolated unit somewhere within Nottingham that patients have to go out of their way to reach. It's about increasing access. It's about us taking the research to the patients and to the researchers. I've always been a button pusher on a computer and something's printed out for me, but I never really thought about who puts that together, that program together, to give you that button to push to get that, that information out of it. We know we have experts in respiratory diseases. We know we have experts in hepatology. We know we have experts in all the other specialities. And what we want to do is bring people who really know research back to front to those areas to deliver studies quickly, efficiently, and um, in the areas that we know will have the biggest impact. We're now talking really about clinical trial specialists who have the clinical trial skill set to be able to deliver these uh, very interventional studies, rather than it being something that comes through a specialty route. Um, and I think that's probably the, the, the right way to develop, because it does allow you to move those skills around wherever the need is without too many barriers. It's, it's a brilliant setup uh, to run clinical trials. So we've got uh, the very uh, uh, brilliant advantage of being situated in the hospital and in close proximity to the wards uh, and also uh, to the patients where they can come to the clinical research facility, uh, which also includes the lab area. I think it's about research being seen within the clinical space as a as a treatment option. So we have run uh, a lot of studies, so many studies, in uh, wide varieties uh, of uh, specialities, including um, oncology, hematology, muscle uh, skeletal, uh, hepatology, and much more in pediatrics as well, where I worked. I'm a physician with uh, experience in several medical specialties, uh, including oncology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, neurology, uh, amongst others. Um, in addition, uh, I've got a background uh, uh, as a scientist with a PhD in molecular oncology and postdoctoral experience. What the CRF does is brings it all together and allows um, you to work across all those different areas um, and really dial into exactly what sponsors need to deliver their study most effectively. We have a very motivated um, team that are invested in, in a vision in what we're trying to achieve. Um, we, the, there is very much within the CRF um, a culture of wanting to deliver to the highest standards, of wanting to ensure that we offer treatment to as many people as possible. We've got an excellent team with uh, a, a wide range of uh, experience and expertise in running uh, clinical trials, uh, including uh, early phase uh, clinical studies. If you have uh people with the expertise and also the personality that allows collaboration. This is uh, a wonderful thing to have and I think Nottingham has that. We do have a high level of expertise. We have very good facilities now to deliver these clinical trials efficiently and effectively. And we have a very committed, enthusiastic population of patients. It's important to get patients and members of the public uh, involved in research because they can actually influence the way it's carried out and improve the way it's done by showing the researchers what works and what doesn't work. Clinical research uh, benefiting patients starts by testing ideas and hypotheses in early phase research projects and we've seen some of that through Covid with the uh, opportunity to, to test local ideas with local people to benefit local population in the future.